Get that ass spin. which I didn't even get to drink yet. What a day it's been, let me tell you. You know, not only have I been running all around doing all kinds of stuff, you know, obviously there's a reason why I had to end my first stream early, so I was already very busy. Um, our power went out right in the middle of the break when I was uploading. So it screwed everything up again. I had to run through my house. I just reset up the uploads again because I don't have a battery backup for my PC anymore. So I had to get those going a second, second time. Uh, I had to sit all the, the stuff in the in the house again. <laughs> I don't even know. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. The clocks might be screwed up in the other room. In the bedroom. I might have to check that, right? Um. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, It's been a very stressful, hectic time. I haven't even had a single sip of my coffee yet, which I need badly. Because I'm already exhausted. Uh, but I'm here for more Final Fantasy VII tonight. The second dose. Essentially, the entirety of the first stream was the intro to the game. Which, really, I'll be honest with you, it didn't really explain that much. It basically was just kind of, you know, going through the whole Nibelheim backstory. Which is, like, not very interesting gameplay. I mean, it's interesting plot, if you don't know it. But, it was really button mashy. Like, really, we didn't actually get to play the real game. Because it was more just, like, kind of going coasting through with freaking you know, Sephiroth all overpowered and stuff. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> we're done with that, finally. Uh, now, we can get into the real game. We're in the town of Calm, which is the first major town in the open world. We get to explore it with the party. We get to see what's going on and go from there. It should be a fun night tonight. I hope you guys are ready for about two to two and a half hours of fun. I'll probably play a little bit longer, depending on, on time permitting and how it goes. Uh, so, yeah. Now, a couple things. Number one, we have a wig. It is a Cloud Strife wig, even though it really isn't. They sold it as it apparently on Amazon, and someone donated it to me. And I've yet to even put it on my head. Because as you know, we have a hat goal of $100 in tips on every stream. And earlier today, we didn't even get close. Not even close. So, so far, we have not seen the Cloud Strife wig. If we hit the goal tonight... $100 in tips, I will put on the Cloud Strife wig. Okay, that's number one. Number two, this is literally my final stream of the month, and it would be great to get some support tonight of any kind. Uh, earlier today, the stream, I'll be honest, didn't even do that well. Um, for a big premiere stream, the attendance was good. But <clears throat> the problem right now that I'm having, all of the videos are getting claimed for music, which is complete horseshit. You cannot claim a gameplay video for music and cite that you think that it's cover songs in the fucking video because that's what they've done. They've tried to skirt YouTube's correct copyright ID system by claiming that it's detecting that all the videos are full of co cover songs. There are zero cover songs um, in this playthrough. It's fair use for me to be using the in-game music and I'm not putting up with that. So I'm in the process of now disputing like eight false content ID claims on my videos I may or may not win them, but right now I'm making absolutely nothing on the videos. Zero. Okay? I'm making nothing on the views on the videos at all. So, it kind of sucks that, number one, already the premiere stream was slow. This is my last day of the month to make any money on YouTube. I've been trying to make up for the fake memberships all month long and really haven't. This is the lowest my channel's made in about three years. I'm not kidding. Um, and there's nothing I can do about that. Tonight, if you like the content, please support it. However you can, whether that be a super chat, a membership, a gifted membership, a super sticker, or a tip. Please, let's have a good stream tonight, all right, in that regard. Brand new game, release day hype, good attendance, you know, hopefully support will go hand in hand with that. It did not on the first stream, so hopefully it does on this one, all right? <clears throat> I would love to put on the cloud wing and look like a jackass, but we got to hit the goal. So let's see what happens, okay? Okay, so tonight, excited. This should be fun. should be in interesting to finally explore uh, the game rather than kind of messing around with the, the intro, which took uh, three hours to get through, but we got through it. This should be the first actual real 
gameplay portion of the game, and we'll see where it takes us tonight. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, first contribution of the night is actually I am the storm who did a super chat saying, "Can you keep the cloud wig for the whole playthrough?" You mean like if we hit the goal every single stream for the whole playthrough, would I uh wear it? Well, the thing is, I haven't even put it on my head yet. You know, if I put it on my head and it's not that big of a deal and it doesn't really bother me, then I wouldn't be opposed to it. But if I put it on my head and it's itchy or annoying and you know what I mean, then no. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens if and when we hit the tips goal to actually have a hat. And then I put on the wig and we'll see what happens. All right? Hopefully we hit it tonight. Seriously, because like I said, I, I don't... Earlier today, the stream was actually considered a slower stream. Like, no exaggeration, I think... I definitely do better on the Baldur's Gate streams, uh, which is sad because I don't want to fucking go back to play Baldur's Gate nonstop. Um, <clears throat> it did like the equivalent of like a random Tekken stream. That it really did. So, no, I don't know if it fits. It's adjustable though. It actually has adjustable sizing. It has like these spandex bands with hooks. That you can make it wider or smaller depending on the size of your head. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Whew, okay. I want this coffee. I need it bad, but it's too hot. I'm going to burn my mouth. I'm going to try it. It actually isn't that hot. Okay, good. I'm going to start drinking it because I need the caffeine. I'm already be I already had to get up early today. Earlier than usual, right? Uh and uh and like I said, I'm doing all kinds of stuff behind the scenes, stressful stuff today. Running all around doing crazy shit. And then the power goes out. It's like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and then it's a new release on top of that. It's like a million things happening all together at once. Yeah, see what I mean? Sarah says, become an exclusive Baldur's Gate 3 player. No. I am a variety streamer. I like playing a variety of games. I'm not just going to play the same fucking game every fucking day. It's, it drives me nuts. Because people all month have complained about Baldur's Gate 3, right? Basically saying, man, you know, that, that the game is too played out. You're playing it too much. You're playing it for two and a half straight months. Play the new games. Play the hot new games. And I said, okay, I will. So I'm playing it now. Okay? This is the hot new game. I'm playing it right now, literally. Uh, I got my first tip of the night from a troll, and they can go fuck themselves. So I'm just going to ignore it. There we go. I'm not even going to read it. I already, I already recognize it. In the moment when I see this person, I'm just going to completely ignore them. <laughs> so there you go. Shove it up your ass. <clears throat> What's up, Jay? Good evening. You're 72 hours behind on Baldur's Gate 3. Well, the good news is you have plenty of time to catch up. How is the game? So far, I can't really say because we only beat the intro. So I would say the graphics are great. The music is outstanding. The story is the story of Final Fantasy VII so far. We, you know, we did see Zack, who's still alive in another dimension, but we don't know if and when it's going to affect this dimension and cross over yet. So... Can't really attest to that yet. Um, the gameplay in the in the intro is very repetitive and very easy. And I think it's because you're overpowered. You're level 40 and you're just kind of steamrolling everything. I'm thinking that it's probably going to get harder now that you're down to only level like 14, 15. But you have your real party now, which is good. We'll be able to actually like like change out party members and stuff, I think. And I want to use Red 13 for the first time. I'm curious how he plays in this game. So we're going to see. We're going to find out tonight when we get started here. Lilica says, we're playing too many RPGs, we need variety. Okay, so have game developers release other games. I, I can't make game developers release other good games. The only games that have been coming out in the last several months that are good are RPGs. Did you want me to play Suicide Squad? You want to waste my time on that? Right? I played Pal World. That lasted, what, 11 parts? Like, I'm playing everything that's coming out. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't make the games. I play them. <laughs> okay? Please. 
<clears throat> Helldivers 2 is an online co-op shooter game. I don't play online co-op co shooters. They're not my style, and I don't have a team of people to team up to play them. It would be incredibly boring just to see me play it myself. 